the journey to financial freedom. We're on day three of, I hold up two fingers. We're on day three of our freedom series. And I wanna talk about the journey of financial freedom. I wanna start with a definition because I believe that, you know, sometimes the thought that fin financial freedom actually means I can buy whatever I want has been misconstrued. And this is often where we see a lot of people securing the lifestyle before they secure the bag. I'm gonna say that one more time. This is where oftentimes we see people securing the lifestyle before they actually secure the bag. So I wanna read a definition for you as it relates to financial freedom. And, and first I wanna say how I even stepped into the realm of going on this journey of financial freedom was many years ago, I heard my dad say he was taking off work for a year. Like I had never heard anyone say they were taking off work for a year. Like the first thoughts were, well, what are you gonna do for money? But I didn't ask, you know, but it did, it, it set me on a path to begin to learn and understand what financial freedom means. And even if you have tapped into what it means, but you've lost your way, it's easy to do with social media, right? Because we see so many people securing the lifestyle, but it doesn't necessarily mean they're really securing the bag. So I want to read the definition of financial freedom for you. And everywhere that I look to look up financial freedom, it gave the definition of financial independence. So it says, it's the status of having enough income or wealth sufficient to pay one's living expenses for the rest of one's life without having to be employed or dependent on others. Income earned without having to work a job is commonly referred to as passive income. So maybe you haven't gotten into investments where you have this passive income coming from index funds and things of that nature, but you do have your business and you can begin to create active passive income in your business that will continue to bring you revenue. Now, it will mean that you'll need to shift your focus. It will mean that you'll need to tap into abundant thinking, having an abundant mindset in order for it to even transpire, you have to create these new belief systems about the possibility of it. But you can use your business to begin creating what I'd like to call active passive income. And this is where you create systems in your business that continue to bring you clients and customers, continue to work for itself, less your effort. Less your effort. It requires system so you are on the journey for financial freedom and you need to redefine for you on today you needed to reshift your focus now i'm the girl that believes that you get to have it all but i also know that there is a way that it has to be acquired now the way is not cookie cutter but there are things that you have to have in place and I'm a systems girl. The more I desire freedom in my life, the more defined I get about my systems, the more I focus on my mindset about what it is that I'm doing because it's easy to get caught up in the rat race. When I talk about people are securing the lifestyle before they secure the bag, what I mean is so many people are upgrading their lifestyle without upgrading the bag. The, the money, the coin. And what normally happens is now you have all of this upkeep and you're back in hustle mode. And so I wanna share a couple things that you can do. Number one, learn new skill sets. Learn new skill sets, new ways of being. Because even if you earn, even if you earn at a really, really high rate, but you haven't learned a new way of being, you haven't shifted your mindset, you haven't created a new paradigm, you could still be living paycheck to paycheck and making six figures or better, making multiple six figures. There are people whose uh, businesses earn a million dollars who 
have created the lifestyle before securing the bag and they're living paycheck to paycheck, so to speak. They may have all the things, but they're having to chase and hunt and grind all the time, even at, you know, high earning capacities. And I know most of us think like, it's just all gonna work out. I'm just gonna make more money and just keep making some more money and I can just chill. But there's upkeep to all of those things if you haven't created systems in your life, if you haven't done your inner work, if you haven't stepped into a new space of being where you actually have the capacity to hold the money, right? My take on today is find new ways of being develop new skill sets, uh, find new ways of investing, invest in yourself. That's something that doesn't lose its value. That's something that will not change. Do your inner work as it relates to your finances. If it's a financial literacy class that you, you want to take, if it's um, doing inner work around, you know, your, your money and who you're being and your capacity right? To hold all of the things that you're calling in. Do that. That's my take for you. I wanted to highlight just a few things while you're on your journey to financial freedom and mainly, you know, the definition of it, what it really means. It was a big aha for me. And every now and then I got to go back to it, right? I got to go back to it. And remember, um, actually recently I did that and it really caused me to look at my business from a, a fresh new set of eyes and decide how I wanted to continue to evolve in my journey. If this is you and you know that doing inner work around what abundance really is and you know changing some of that subconscious programming that you may have, I'd love for you to join us at the She Prospers One Day Live Intensive. It will be held at the top of the year, January the 14th. So if you have not saved your seat, you're not too late. I'll be working with 12 women. We'll be really stepping into, tapping into abundance on a new level, um, unlearning some things that we have been holding on for a long time and learning to really retrain your subconscious programming as it relates to money. That's my take, your journey to financial freedom.